Welcome back to my channel. This is the fourth episode of What to Wear Wednesday and I am filming outside today so I apologize in advance for any loud car sounds or skateboarding or biking or anything like that. But yeah, let's get right into it. My first question comes from Nai Sham. She asked how to make a basic short and shirt outfit look cute because in 115 degree Las Vegas weather there's not much else to wear. So for this outfit, I styled it all around these pair of shorts and you can choose any pair of shorts that you like and I chose four different types of shirts that you can wear. I wore this exact outfit like a ton of times when I was in Vegas. I brought a bunch of other outfits as well, but I found that this was the most comfortable. It was just like a really tiny bralette, so it felt like I wasn't actually wearing a shirt, um, but it's a little longer than a bralette, so it looks like a shirt. And it's nice because the shorts are high-waisted, so it does cover up enough skin but I think I was also in vacation mode so you might not want to wear this if you are at home I don't know it's up to you and then I also styled it with this shirt and this one is a really nice material I'm not entirely sure what it is but it's really sheer it's kind of like a chiffon but it's such a nice like breathable material so this is awesome and then also if you're going to be wearing a t-shirt then a basic way to just like dress it up would just be to tie a knot in front either you can tie a knot just all around itself or take two ends and then tie a knot if you need help tying a knot i'm sure you can find a bunch just like type in how to tie a shirt or a t-shirt on youtube and you'll find it so this is a really nice way to crop your shirt without cutting it which i like to do because i usually cut my shirts and then end up regretting it so yeah this is a really good alternative to just tie it so my last shirt is actually a scarf the way that i styled this one is i just took a big square scarf like this took two ends and then tied it on the top and then tied it in the back and then you have an open back shirt and it's really really breathable and all you have to do is just tuck the front in so that it doesn't look so slouchy in front but I really liked this um, I feel like I'll be wearing this a lot especially with this kind of like satiny material it feels so nice on your skin especially when it's hot my second question comes from Athena DM RN she said I have a really short torso and I'm really insecure when I find nice clothes but they don't fit my body well what types of outfits can I wear that will elongate my upper body and balance out my proportions. I only styled one outfit but it's kind of the same idea. I find I have a really long torso and when I wear tunics or shift dresses then sometimes it ends up making my torso look a lot longer um, which is not something that I want per se because my torso is already long. So I figure the same thing would happen for somebody that has a short torso. So I wear this as a dress or a shirt sometimes depending on how I feel about it and it just does a really good job of hiding your waist and so I think that when you have a really small torso you're gonna want to hide where your waist starts because that's w what makes it look like you have a really short torso anything that is long I would try styling a lot of tunics a lot of shirts that are kind of this length see if that works for you I find that it does work for me so check back in let me know how it goes my next question comes from Carla Murillo. She said, I am very self-conscious of my arms and with summer coming, it's hard to wear long sleeve shirts without feeling hot. How do you style an outfit that's fresh but comfortable for my situation? If you are gonna be wearing long sleeves, then you do want something that's breathable or else you're just gonna be sweating bullets in it. So this one I really like just because it is a really nice summer color and it feels really cool when I put it on and I don't ever feel super hot in it. The same thing could be said about this one. It is really, really breathable and you guys have seen this shirt before, but I love it. It has all these holes because it's knitted and so it helps you breathe. And then I chose this one just because it's really loose and so uh, these other two, like this one, this one's quite loose, but this one's a little tighter and I know that if you're self-conscious of your arms you're not going to want to wear something tight so I chose this one because it is looser and then it has really big um, t-shirt sleeves which I really really like um, but it also will hide your arms also because it's loose and you get a lot of like air circulation which is pretty cool and then lastly I don't know I feel like this one would probably be like the hottest thing to wear just because just feeling it um it feels like kind of stiff and like it will get hot under here but um, if you do really want to wear long sleeves and you want to make it stylish for the summer, one, camo is really in and tying your shirts so that they hang off your shoulder, that's really in right now. All you have to do is just button it lower, pull it back, and then tie a knot in the front. Next up, I have a question from Hey 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 Ray, <laughs> who asks how to rock crop tops but nothing too sexy, something also family friendly. So um, I came up with 
four different tops all revolving around one pair of pants and I chose these pants because they're really not sexy pants. I think that it, the waist is really flattering um, and as, <laughs> as is the case with most mom jeans but it's really straight legged, it's not tight, it's really 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 casual pants and so anything that I pair with it ends up looking a lot more casual, casual, <laughs> ends up looking a lot more casual and a lot more family friendly. So I styled it with four different crop tops and these are all ones that I have worn with these pants before and if you were to wear them with say like skinny jeans or something that is tighter or say a skirt, then it is going to end up looking a lot sexier just because it's already a, cop a crop top. But when you have high-waisted pants, it covers your waist and so you don't end up having a midriff. And I think that if you're going to wear crop tops but you want to make it more casual and more family friendly, then covering more skin is probably the way to go. Let me know if you guys come up with any other ones. I also really like that you guys are answering each other's questions. Um, that's absolutely the point of this. It's not just for me to answer them. So my next one comes from It's Me. How do I style tops I can't wear bras with? I'm all about the no bra look, but I'm not quite there yet confidence wise. Is there any way I can get any stability? What I did is I took this dress, which has kind of like a low plunging V in the front, and I wear this without a bra all the time. Um, I go braless whenever possible. In my day to day life, I usually don't wear a bra because I don't need the support. In terms of pasties, um, for those of you guys that are interested, they just look like this. They obviously will look different depending on where you get them, but I just have like regular circle ones and you can get these on eBay, AliExpress, Amazon, literally anywhere. Any kind of wholesaler will sell it and it's super cheap. Um, I think it's like a dollar, two dollars a pair depending on where you get it and what kind of deals you can get. Especially when I wasn't super comfortable with not wearing a bra, I would wear pasties almost every single day. If you are looking to make that transition to being more comfortable without wearing a bra, then definitely buy some pasties. It will feel a lot more comfortable, but I know that with support, it's kind of hard. If you can't do that because you really need that support, then I would recommend wearing a bralette. It's really up to you. There are a lot of bralettes out there, and so just find what works for you, and yeah, invest in some pasties if that's the route you wanna go. Okay, my next question comes from Annalise Sunwall. She asked, I need help on how to casually wear athletic wear without looking like I'm just going to the gym. So this outfit was the best one to put together. I wore something kind of similar, uh, that's a lie. Like, it used like a, a similar idea to go out the other night and it looked so bomb because yes, sometimes streetwear does look like you're just going to the gym and I do get some people telling me that, but you know what? Those people got no style, so. <laughs> um, what I did is I took these pair of athletic shorts, probably got these in high school, that's where I got mine from, but I find that if you're gonna wear something like this, then you wanna wear something that also looks kind of sporty. And I know that that's counterintuitive because you're like, don't you just look like you're going to the gym? But what I mean is like, if you wear it with something like this, like this really like kind of sparkly crop top, then the contrast is gonna be so great that it's gonna really look like these are athletic shorts. But when you style it with something like this, it has a very sportswear kind of vibe, but it's knit. And so it's not really something that I would ever wear to work out, but it really fits that vibe and has like the same like lines, same color scheme. So it goes really, really well together. And alone, this outfit looks really good. I don't think that you would look like you're going to the gym if you wore this. And I personally paired it with my Nike Air Maxes just because if I were to pair them with my Nike Ruches, which I actually wear to work uh, out, then it would really look like a workout outfit. But by wearing a pair of sneakers that either are more expensive, look nicer, um, or are meant for fashion purposes and not like exercise purposes, then you're actually elevating that outfit so that it doesn't look so much like a gym outfit. So my last question comes from Kira Mija who said, how does one style a pair of khaki tan pants? I have a dope pair that fits really well, but I have trouble styling them. Please help. So these pants are one of my favorites. I love them. They fit so well. They make my butt look so good. And I wear this with this white top. I don't think I wear these pants with anything else really. I've gotten so many compliments on this outfit and I think the colors work really well together. I've tried wearing it with black or brown and I just don't like it as much. Um, you absolutely could because those colors would look really nice with khaki but I just think that this like white cream looks so beautiful with it so that is what I would wear. That is it for my what to wear Wednesday guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always I hope you have a beautiful day. Leave all your questions, comments, concerns below and I will try to get to them next week. Until then, bye.